I finally got the battery on my OnePlus 7 Pro to die completely, which is actually harder than you would think. But one thing OnePlus talks about is how fast their warp charging is. Well, they used to advertise how fast their dash charging was. If you look at the size of these, the warp charging brick is definitely quite a bit bigger. So I'm gonna compare how fast both of these are in this video. So I'm gonna see how long it takes to charge from zero up to 100% on dash charge and then on warp charge to see what the difference is on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So let's get things started by plugging in each charger and starting the timer. Now, after my OnePlus 7 Pro died, I did not turn it back on while charging so that there wouldn't be any variables to consider, such as getting a call or using the phone for anything other than this charging test. I am speeding up the video several times because let's face it, no one wants to watch this happen in real time. So let me know in the comments below if the results of this test are what you were expecting. One problem with keeping the device off during this video is that I had to keep hitting the power button every so often just to see what the percentage of the phone was at, which was a little tricky to hit the button without moving the phone too far. Okay, so after 15 minutes, we have the dash charge at 27% and the warp charge at 42%. Seems like it would be a pretty easy win for warp charge, doesn't it? Well, if we speed up the video here to one hour of charging time, you'll see the dash charge is now at 83% and the warp charge is 92%. So now things are getting a little bit closer than even I thought they would be. Now, speeding up the video again, you'll see the warp charge has completely charged to 100% and it took one hour and 20 minutes total. Now let's speed the video up a little more to see where the dash charge ends up. And you can see that in only 18 minutes later, the dash charge is completely charged to 100% at one hour and 38 minutes. Not too bad, eh? Okay, so there we have it. You've got dash charging, one hour, 38 minutes, and of course the warp charge one, but it wasn't by as much as I thought it was gonna be. At only one hour and 20 minutes, I was actually surprised it only won by 18 minutes. I would say if you have a dash charger laying around from another OnePlus phone like I do, I don't even think you need to buy the warp charger. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.